Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Aaron. Today we're going to look at the Sony HT G700 soundbar system. At $600, this is one of the more affordable soundbar systems from Sony, and it consists of a soundbar, a wireless subwoofer, which is very convenient, and a very simple remote control. Now, the soundbar is about 1 meter in length, so it is about the same length as a 48 to 49 inch TV. And I have personally found this soundbar to be very easy to set up. If you have a TV that supports HDMI EARC or Enhanced Audio Return Channel, then you'll only need to connect just one HDMI version 2.1 cable from the soundbar to your TV to get it to work. The soundbar has also got an extra HDMI input, so if you want to connect a separate source like a 4K Blu-ray player or a Apple TV 4K, then you can do so by connecting it to that particular input. Now, this soundbar also supports the latest home theater surround sound formats like Dolby Atmos, DTS-X, Dolby Digital True HD, and DTS-HD Master Audio. But it's only got three front-firing speaker drivers, and without any supporting surround sound speakers or upward-firing drivers for height effects, how is it going to deliver that immersive home cinema experience that we sort of expect from these audio formats. So instead of having these extra speakers, which will drive up the cost of this unit, Sony has built in some very unique surround sound processing, and I've got to read this from this list because it, these names are not easy. S-Force Pro Front Surround for Surround Sound, and it's also got Vertical Surround Engine for height effects. And it is this Vertical Surround Sound Engine that will help to deliver that Dolby Atmos or DTS-X experience. It's also got immersive audio enhancement, which will take traditional stereo sources and upconvert them into surround sound sources. So it's gonna sound more immersive. Now, all of these technologies, they sound great, but we can't always take these breaths for that word, can we? So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna play a few surround sound tracks from this soundbar. Now, these tracks are going to be copyright free and they're going to be from a game that I often play, Monster Hunter. This game has got surround sound, so it's going to be, you know, if this speaker has indeed got surround sound, it's going to sound immersive. So we're going to go through all the different sound modes. The uh, soundbar has got modes like auto sound, standard sound, cinema sound, and music. And we're going to activate immersive audio enhancement because that is simply going to you know, make the soundbar perform at its maximum potential as a surround soundbar. These recordings are made with a binaural microphone that's set about 1.5 meters away from the soundbar and at ear level when sitting down on a couch. So it's gonna mimic quite closely your experience of, you know, sitting down on your couch, having a nice cold drink and watching a movie, playing video games. Um, and I recommend using headphones to listen to these recordings for the best experience, the best accuracy. Even so, these cannot be taken as representative of the actual sound quality of this soundbar because you are essentially listening to this soundbar through a filter. So, having said all that, please enjoy.
So this soundbar sounds quite immersive and quite cinematic regardless of the different modes that I was on. It sounded at certain times like there was a big center channel speaker coming at me from the middle of the TV and its soundstage sounds a lot wider and a lot more open than what the soundbar looks. So Sony's surround sound processing seems to work quite well and despite the fact that this soundbar only has three speaker drivers facing forwards, it did deliver quite a open and cinematic immersive experience when playing video games and even when watching videos. But of course, there's this question about dialogue. How loud and clear is dialogue gonna be when watching news programs, for example? When I was playing videos and movies from the soundbar, vocal sounded pretty clear, heavy, yeah? And it also sounded pretty front and center. So overall, it was fine. But I did detect that vocals uh, sounded a little spread out to the left and right channels when the soundbar is in cinema mode. So I activated voice mode and that seemed to be a little better. Vocals seemed to be a little more uh, centered, a little more focused than in cinema mode. So if you ever need to watch news programs or documentaries and you want your vocals to sound a little more, you know, a little more focused, then activating voice mode might be a great idea. Okay, now we're gonna play some music with the soundbar using the soundbar's music mode. This mode is meant to give you a more hi-fi experience when listening to music because when you're listening to music on, say, cinema mode, for example, your music is gonna be pretty much spread out across, like, different virtual surround sound channels, which is not quite ideal. Music mode is meant to give you a more hi-fi experience with separate left and right stereo channels. And as this soundbar has Bluetooth, I'm gonna play music over Bluetooth from my phone. So, please enjoy. So I think we can agree that this soundbar sounds pretty good for music. In terms of clarity and track separation, it sounds pretty clean. And in terms of sound staging, it is definitely there. I mean, it sounds wide and open. Vocals also sounded pretty clear, pretty front and center, and well separated from the background. So quite good. In terms of bass performance, it can be a mixed bag because this subwoofer is it can be a little boomy, 
if you turn it all the way up it's got 12 levels and i find that the best balance between a tight and uh, satisfying bass versus boomy bass is at level 9. But even so, when I'm switching between different types of content, I found myself having to adjust the bass on the fly. Kudos to Sony for making it easy to adjust the volume of the subwoofer. You can just do it from here from the controller. But it gets a little annoying after a while. So it would have been nice if Sony had implemented a sort of automatic DSP system that automatically optimizes the bass level depending on the content that is being played. I think th that would have been much better because it involves no brain power for me at all. So from this relatively affordable soundbar system that costs $600, you're going to get a system that's very easy to set up and sounds very immersive for its price and for its size. But can it replace an actual 5.1 home theater system or if you're into Dolby Atmos content, a 7.1.2 home theater system with seven surround sound speakers, one subwoofer, and two ceiling mounted speakers. No, it cannot replace that kind of system because a standalone sound bar system, even one that sounds as good as this, is never gonna send surround sound to you from the sides or from the back. It's gonna be always, you know, in the front periphery of your field of view. Also, this soundbar system is not going to be expandable, so you cannot later on add rear surround sound speakers or ceiling height speakers to give you a full Dolby Atmos surround sound setup. So you're going to have to keep that in mind when you decide to get this soundbar system. Otherwise, I think the Sony HT G700 is a fantastic soundbar system for the price. It's $600 and it comes with a wireless subwoofer. It sounds immersive, pretty good for its price point, and it decodes some of the latest surround sound formats like DTSX and Dolby Atmos. You don't get soundbars that can decode Dolby Atmos at this price point very often. So if you're in the market for a nice soundbar system, definitely worth a look. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please show that you like this video by punching that like button with a vengeance 2020 style and sharing this video with your friends and family. Also, if you want to see more content like this one from this channel, more reviews, tutorials, etc, please subscribe and ring the notifications bell because this is the only way YouTube will notify you of new content from this channel. Arrivederci.